Hey everybody, Day Hiker from the Six here. Going to uh, do the obligatory trailer walkthrough. Um, we have a Safari Condo R1723. Uh, this trailer well, has two claims to fame, I guess. The first one is that the roof raises, and the second one is that it's extremely light. So for a trailer that comfortably sleeps four, it weighs only 2,000 pounds. Uh, and actually, some of the other models are a little bit less. We have a few options that get the weight up to 2,000 pounds. Um, so we're going to walk through this. We'll start on the outside and then work our way inside. So we're at the, I guess what I call the front of the trailer here. And you can see we've got the door here. Uh, we always set up a little mat and a couple of chairs up front. And uh, you also have power if you were plugged into electrical. This is a non-electric campsite though, so those plugs don't work. Um, we also have the night light by the door there. Uh, we don't usually use it though because it tends to attract bugs. Uh, this is the air conditioner, or at least the outside part of the air conditioner. So the trailer does have air conditioning, but unlike a lot of other trailers, it's not uh, mounted on the roof. It's also got just the one little step that pulls out. It's up a little bit high right now because we're in a bit of a creative parking situation here, just because we wanted to position it to get the view of the lake that we're camping beside. Um, this is just something that I did just to run a little solar panel directly to the battery. And actually you can see the wire going down there and there's the solar panel right now catching some sun. So we've got two propane tanks, uh, and a two bike bike rack. No bikes with us this weekend. This weekend was about, uh, hiking and about kayaking. So we have a kayak, uh, down by the water so coming around to the other side so here we have storage and this is the only outdoor storage in the trailer so compared to your sort of traditional RVs it's almost laughable I guess but I actually can fit everything that I need in inside of here and there it is so I've got all of our electrical cables some hoses a small barbecue uh, some gas, some grease for the hitch, um, wheel chocks, everything fits in there that we need. Um, I'll actually cut to a picture right now of everything laid out on my patio table, and you'll see everything that we have in here. It's a little bit disorganized right now because we're in the middle of a camping trip. Before we leave, we'll put it all back into more neater order. So these are the outlets for the fridge. So it does have a small... Uh, not a 12 volt fridge, but a two way fridge, which means it runs on 120 volt and then on gas. Uh, you can get a 12 volt fridge as an option if you want to though. The 12 volt one is also a little bit bigger. So even though it's a very small RV, it, it is sort of a fully featured one. Um, so you can plug it into city water and then you've got the gravity fill. The tank is, I believe, 60 liters, and I'm not sure what that is in gallons, maybe 12 to 16, something like that. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen anyway. We also have an outdoor shower. There it is. Very handy when you're at the beach or what have you, just to clean your feet off. We don't have a dog, but I hear it's good for them as well. And this is where the shore power connects 30 amp uh, and that's the outlet for the truma it's a combination hot water heater and furnace and uh, does a great little job actually the air conditioner is also a heat pump so i guess technically we have sort of two heaters in the trailer um, which is kind of neat there's a little bit of redundancy so in terms of um, how the roof works basically this wall right here just tips in to the trailer and then this section comes down all the way to here so that our towing profile is this profile here so it's a lot uh, smaller a lot less a lot more aerodynamic and I'll cut to a demo of how the roof goes up now <music>
back, nice big window. Uh, that window tips out. And then we have two sliding windows, one on either side, so you can get some really good ventilation. And then of course the door um, opens, there's a fantastic fan. So it's really easy to get a breeze going. Although typically up here in Canada, um, it's, you, you know, I, I, th I don't think that there's maybe been more than two or three nights in the entire time we've owned this thing that we haven't had to run the heat during the night. So staying cool has never really been the issue. It's more staying warm. Um, so that's the outside of this trailer. Um, actually, one other thing. Move the chair out of the way here. So you, it does come standard with 13-inch tires. I upgraded to the 15-inch, and uh, it's a Michelin light truck tire instead of a trailer tire. I know a lot of people... Uh, don't think you should put light truck tires on trailers, but virtually every trailer manufacturer is doing it now. And I just feel a lot more confident. Uh, you don't see light truck t tires disintegrating on the highway at the same extent that you see it with the uh, with the trailer tires. So that's my opinion on that debate. Um, I also have, you can see on the tire valve here, uh, TPMS sensors. So I do have TPMS installed on the trailer. And it's a wireless unit, so there's no wire running to the car. And actually, the receiver in the car is solar, so it, you, know, you don't even have to plug it into the cigarette lighter or anything. And uh, that way I can monitor both the temperature and the pressure. So I'll know if a bearing is, in, is you know, overheating. I'll know if a tire, hopefully even get a little bit of an advance warning if a tire is uh, heating up or, you know, if it's losing pressure or if the pressure is going through the roof because of temperature. Just another thing you can see from the outside is just the sheer amount of glass that this trailer has. So when we do the inside walkthrough, you'll see it's almost like being in a tree house. I don't know. Once we saw this, I, I don't think that we had any question as to which way we we're going to go. But there's a lot of other advantages compared to your traditional RVs, uh, just in terms of the size of the beds and so on, which we'll get into on the inside. So let's head inside. So coming inside, we've got the dinette on the right, and it's a two-person dinette. You can squeeze three in if you, if you really had to. The table slides back and forth just to make it easy for people to come in, and it also turns, although it's not a true lagoon table. A lot of people have, uh, in our Facebook group for the Alto Trailers, have put a lagoon table in, but... Um, we just have the standard safari condo table. So we have a bunk model, so we don't have the big front window. You can actually get it with a huge front window here, but uh, we don't have that. We have the bunk and it just is held up by two buckles and it comes down. I believe the capacity is 275 pounds. So adults can sleep on this. It's six and a half feet long. So it's actually longer than your typical bunk. And this is one of the reasons why we ended up going with this trailer. We were also looking at micro minis uh, by Winnebago and, you know, another smallish kind of trailer. But two huge advantages of this one. Number one, we can tow this with a car. And, you know, living in the downtown Toronto, we really don't need a truck. Um, and number two, these beds are actually almost like a true twin bed. So the kids fit comfortably in them and our kids are older and my son is 6'3", my daughter is, what, 5'8", five, 5'9", five, something like that. And uh, so this gives them the space. So my daughter sleeps up here and my son sleeps on the bottom bunk. And so basically this table just comes apart. The table sits down here. These cushions go in the middle and uh, it it becomes a second bed and I'll cut to a picture of that. Um, it's very simple, straightforward kind of standard RV dinette bed. So in the middle of the unit here, we've got the kitchen and on the right here and then the bathroom on the left. So you've got a two burner stove and sort of a Marine style sink. So, like so. A lot of people on the Facebook group have changed this out for a deeper sink. You can do that if you want. Um, up here, we just have storage. Um, and, you know, so we keep our dry food, cereal, potato chips, that kind of thing in here. Um, 
And then you've got a spice rack, which we don't really use for spices, but we have a few little things in there. And uh, yeah, you've got a USB hub here to charge your devices. And uh, so down below, we have the fridge that I was talking about outside. So it's a two-way. It runs on both gas and electric. So right now we're running on gas because we uh, are in a non-electric site. Uh, you can get a 12 volt fridge though, if you so choose. This is where we store all of our dishes and so on. So at first we thought, oh boy, there's not going to be enough space, but we started to, you know, look into it a little bit and see that people could actually fit a lot of stuff in here. So we have no issue. We have a full set of pots and pans. Uh, we have a full set of dishes. We just use plastic. So, you know, in an RV, they crash and bang around. So there's no point in uh, risking having broken stuff. Um, you know, we've got that baking pan there and uh, coffee cups. Um, we actually keep a full coffee percolator in there as well. Old camping style one. So basically, I mean, I don't know. I would say there's nothing that, you know, there's nothing else really that we would want to even have. So it has enough space. Okay. Bathroom next. So in the bathroom, uh, you've got a toilet and it's a wet bath. So there is a shower and basically this shower curtain, it just, there's a track, it goes all the way around. And so you can take a shower. There's a cover for the toilet and you've got the hot, cold water there. Um, the tanks are fairly small in this thing. So I would say Probably the absolute max, if you're really efficient with your army showers, would be four showers with this trailer. Um, and if you're being a little bit less efficient, you could have kind of two. So we've used it on occasion on weekend trips where we were in campgrounds that didn't have showers. But by and large, we use the campground showers. In the back, so this is the main sleeping area of the trailer, but it also ends up being a bit of a, you know, a lounging area. Uh, that table can move here as well. So when it's the whole family, the four of us are traveling, we can actually all have dinner here comfortably too, not, not at all crammed in. You could, you could seat five. I wouldn't, six wouldn't be possible, I think, but basically two here, two here, and then one person sitting on the end bench. And, uh, it's a good size table too. So, uh, the table can also be set up outside as well. Um, so, but you can see like even, so we'll put a laptop, right on this countertop here. And, uh, you know, you can, it's just a really nice way to watch TV. So very comfortable. We did not get the, there is a TV that you can mount onto the bathroom wall here, but we didn't get that one because it just seemed like it wouldn't be a great spot. It would just get in the way and so on. And, uh, but a laptop just sitting on the kitchen counter is absolutely perfect. So, on a rainy day, we can watch movies, we can watch uh, TV if we have internet. So um, it's great. So I'll, I'll just take the camera here. So here we have another 120 volt outlet. And also just to prevent you from trying to run like a toaster and the microwave at the same time, you've got a switch. So you can either power the outlet or the microwave, but not both. Uh, now we don't have the built-in microwave, because we have this cabinet here. We do travel with a microwave though. It's actually underneath me right now. And you know, when we set up, uh, if we have electricity, we'll put the microwave right up here on top and we'll have a, a microwave as well. So we have a fantastic fan. It's standard, fantastic fan, three speeds. It runs both ways. Does a great job of getting the air out. You can get a max air fan as well if you want. And you can see we have led lighting, uh, throughout the ceiling. There are pot lights. And so at night you can light up the trailer pretty well. Uh, there's one right above me here. And then you've also got the two that are sort of in your reading light position right there and right there. But the real appeal of this trailer is all the glass. So this is what really sold us on it. So we've got an awesome campsite this weekend. Um, got lucky. I guess somebody canceled this one and we, we were able to snap it up. 
So we're right waterfront. We've got our kayak down the hill there. Just we can put in right from the campsite um, and just a gorgeous view. Uh, even, you know, even at night when it's pitch dark, you get a really nice view across the lake. So it's awesome. All in all, I think, you know, this is a really nice, you know, for a 2000 pound trailer, um, it's got basically everything you need. I would say it can get a little tight. It's got your standard sort of trailer. Well, all RVs sort of have that issue where you've got the, um, the narrow hallway kind of feel to them. So you can see like if we got to pass by each other, it's a little bit tight, but, um, you know, that's, that's about it. It, it would be nice to have some overhead storage as well, because basically everything has to go under the seats. So that means if you want to get something out, you have to, you know, you can't be sitting there and anything that's on the seats has to come off. So we've got all our bedding mm -hmm. under here and everything. And under this one, on the one side, you've got the Truma and on the other side, we've got our microwave, some flashlights and, you know, a hammock and mm -hmm. so on. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of our Safari condo, R1723. Um, it's, you know, we, we absolutely love this trailer. Um, we're not looking to upgrade or get something bigger. Uh, this is exactly perfect for us. Um, you know, won't have to buy a truck. It's super easy to tow. Um, and you know, if we have to sleep four people in here, we can, it's very easy to, but the huge appeal of it for us, we, we, we went from tent camping to this trailer. And so, you know, we're, when we come camping, we're coming to camp, not really to hang out in a, you know, big luxury glamping 30 foot trailer. So, and we've done several RV trips with the 30 foot class C motorhomes, uh, rentals. And so we're familiar with that. It's not, it's not that we haven't tried it. Um, but the, the really big selling point for this, uh, besides just being lightweight is just the feeling of being kind of in a tree house. Uh, you've got just a tremendous amount of glass. And so you can imagine just sitting in this trailer at night and peering out as the moon is shining in and you know, you've just got an amazing amount of glass. And if you're lucky enough to score a campsite like this, um, this is an awesome trailer to, uh, be in this type of campsite. So all in all, we really, really love this trailer. And uh, if you're thinking about it, we say, go for it. Uh, you will not regret buying a safari condo. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.